given a number n let's take an example n is 2 we have to generate a sequence from the numbers in the range 0 to 2 to the power of n minus 1 so for 2 it will be 0 to 3 and the first integer is always 0 an integer appears no more than once in the sequence so every number is unique and every adjacent pair of integer differ by exactly one bit in their binary representation and also the first and last integers differ by exactly one bit also so for n equals to a valid sequence would be 0 0 which is 0 in integer 0 1 which is 1 in integer uh, 1 1 which is 3 and 1 0 these pair of integers differ by exactly one bit which is this bit these pair of integers differ by exactly one bit which is the second bit from the right also this these pair of integers differ by exactly one bit which is the rightmost bit the question asks given any integer n can we return this kind of sequence now let's see the gray code when n equals one when n equals one the gray code is simply zero and one now i'm going to perform a simple operation here to get gray code for n equals two i'm going to simply copy these values as it is and copy them again but in reverse order so one zero the first half of this i'll add zero as the prefix and the second half i'll add one as the prefix and voila this is the gray code when n equals two but how does that happen so you see these values are essentially the same right i'm just adding a zero which is always there and in the second half i'm just reversing these values so one and zero and adding one as a prefix so this makes sure that every adjacent pair of numbers differs by exactly one bit now similarly let's see gray code when n equals three i'm just gonna copy these values as it is first and then I'm going to copy them again, but in reverse order. So in the first half, I'm going to add zero as the prefix. And in the second half, I'll add one as the prefix. And this is a valid gray code for n equals three. Simply, this will give me the answer. Let's see.